Good morning, Floss Tube. This is Lori, the mischievous stitcher. This is my first Floss Tube video and a little nervous, but you girls have all done it, some of you guys, so I think I'm going to give it a try and see how it goes. Um, I've been a stitcher since I was around 13 years old, maybe a little before, um, due to a church group they called it Time Was Girls in Action. Uh, we got together once every Friday and did different crafts, and of course, um, I got turned on to cross stitching and have been stitching ever since. Um, recently, I have been posting to Instagram. Um, I changed my name to The Mischievous Stitcher because I had plans of taking a step towards floss tube with all of you guys. Um, and I have been working on the tapestry sampler. I have joined the Stitch from Stash group on Facebook. And I have wanted to do this piece. It, I think the uh, copyright on it is 1995. And I have wanted to do it that long, but for whatever reason, haven't, but it's been in the back of my mind. So I'm going to show it to you real quick. This is the pattern. It's by um, Pat Rogers. And as I said, it's been out since 95. And this is where I am so far. I started it on the 1st of January. Um, other than a few nights, I've been working on it every day for a few hours after work. Um, here's where I am at the moment. I love the colors. They're very 90s. Um, but it's still a beautiful piece. Um, I typically use Q-snaps Q with um, my pieces, and um, I like to keep it kind of taut, but not too too taut that it distorts the fabric. You know, some in the past I've had pieces that's been distorted by how tight I keep my fabric to the frame. But here's this piece that I'm currently working on. Um, I also work on a piece for work at lunch, and it is one of the JBW designs. And I'm actually kind of playing with it. Um, is it JBW? Yes. It's Birds and Berries Antique Sampler. I think it's very pretty. Now, my kitchen, I have lots of grapes and several pieces on the wall that are in the greens and the purples. And at first, I thought I'd go that way, but... Um, been to different retreats and have picked up various um, threads as goodie bags. And this was one of them, um, Curious Creations, um, Hand Dyed Floss Night Storm. It's like a purpley blue. It's very pretty. And this is a Valdani. And this one is Primitive Purple. Um, this is the other one, and this is the one I'm using, and what I'm doing is, um, I just started, so <laughs> there's not much there. Um, oh, that's the back. But here's the piece, and this is over two, this line, but this here is stitched over with one thread over two. And what I'm doing is I thought I'd do a piece and just kind of variegate um, using the two strands, using the one strand. I may do some over one just to kind of see how it looks with it being such a small piece. And forgive me, I, I keep wanting to look to the right when the camera lens is to the left. Um, what else? Um, like I said, I'm, I'm joined the stitch from Stash, but what ended up happening with that is I thought, let me accumulate all I can that I'm uh, that's on my wish list for one, two, three by the end of the year <laughs> before I go on a stitch diet. So... <laughs> I ordered these, which are the Fragments in Time by Summer House, and I've got A, B, C, D, but the whole alphabet isn't here. Um, I've looked a little online to kind of see um, what others are doing with these pieces. I had a mind after seeing Vanna's um, ABC Houses Little House that I was going to do this in the same way on one piece of fabric, but then when I realized that some of the letters are missing, I'm not sure if um, more are going to be released or if this is it because when you look at the description, it says it's fragments in time, fragments of samplers. So I'm not sure that that's going to happen, but I've got them just in case. I also picked up with the fabric, but not the threads, of heartstring samplery instead of sheep. I love this design. I have many of hers. Um, I've only stitched a couple. Um, but I just, I love the quirkiness. 
um, that she has in her samplers. Um, and I hope to, this will be one of the ones that I, I stitch this year. Um, it does call, I believe, for sampler threads. Or no, it's classic color, color works. Um, and I do not have those yet. Um, I do not have a local shop. My closest shop is in Lexington. I'm from South Carolina. So it's in Lexington, South Carolina, which is around an hour drive for me. But I do have a stitch friend up there that I can meet. Hi, Natasha. <laughs> And um, I look forward to going up there, seeing Natasha, and visiting the shop. Um, also, um, I had something framed last month, and it is a freebie piece, actually, that came from Plum Street Samplers, I want to say in Christmas of 2015. And several people were stitching in online, and I, I picked it up and did it um, quick stitch. Didn't take too long at all. And um, this is the piece here, God with us. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to come out with editing because I've not done this before. Um, but what I see, it's showing up backwards. <laughs> but it does say God with us. And I really love it. And I love how the frame picks up the colors and the sheep, the grays, and the, the taupey colors. But um, I, I, I'm not sure where I'm going to hang it. Um, but I'm very happy with the framing. And I did drop off another one yesterday. Um, it was an old Britter Cup design, and I think it was the Elizabethan sampler. Um, I really love the en English history, um, Tudor history to be exact. And I did that piece for a tiny, I did it over one, but it was just a tiny square with Elizabeth in the center. And not that you could even really tell it's her, but I know. Um, so I can't wait to pick that up. So in around two weeks, I'll have that ready. Um, also, not only am I new to posting to FlossTube, I'm actually new within the past couple months of watching FlossTube. And I tell you, I'm addicted. I have to watch you guys every night. And once I find someone that I like, I can't just watch a video. I have to go back and go back to video number one and watch it to the end and then I'll find someone else. But um, the one I'm currently watching is Evergreen Needle. Um, I, I'm watching her from the get beginning. I think I'm on video number four. Um, I love that, that to see how she's exploring and, and um, learning the world of cross stitch and that she just jumped right out there and did such a big piece first. I think that was great. Um, I've also watched Emily of Collected Possessions. Hi, Emily. Um, just across the Savannah River from you over here in South Carolina. Um, I love her, her, what she's working on, love what she's seeing, and, and that she invites us in and she's showing us a little bit about who she is too. So um, it's such a great community, this Stitch community, and I feel like I know you guys, even though I've not even met you. Um, with that being said, I also um, have been watching Vonnet, and I was never a blogger either. Um, Vonnet is someone I have been watching. I did watch, um, view her blog often through the years because I love what she's stitching. Um, I love how she explains everything to to you, and she's one of the floss tube um, tubers that I have watched from beginning to end as well. She cracks me up. <laughs> But um, she had a tutorial on project bags, and I, I do sew, um, but I'm self-taught. Um, no one in my family sews. Um, I have a few stitch friends here locally, and they're like me. They've learned to sew just so they can finish pin pillows or do a project bag, and I do not like zippers. So the zipper pouches, even though I don't, I, you can also buy them. You don't have to sew them. I found that the couple that I did make, either I, I, I was probably just not making them large enough, but sometimes my zipper would catch the end of the pattern or maybe a, a corner of the fabric because, you know, I keep it on the Q-snap and put it inside. And, and when I saw her video on the project envelopes, I couldn't wait to give them a try. So I've made a couple of these for my Stitch from Stash this year. I'd like to make one each month and, and kind of coordinate it to what's going on in that month. But I'm going to show you what I've made so far. Um, the first three were Christmas, and I was just learning at this point. Um, I didn't do it exactly as Vonna's um, tutorial, the first one I did. But the others I kind of modified to what I needed. 
and um, this was my first one. I got a fabric from Joann's, and I just love this fabric. Um, the inside, of course, is a coordinating fabric with little snowflakes. And what do I have in here in a moment? Oh, so for Christmas this, this year, uh, in my Stitch from Stash Crash Before the Diet, I bought this Homespun Elegance Santa in the fabric to tune him on. Um, I've done a few of these in the past, and of course, I'm terrible at finishing, so I have several in a tote under the bed, <laughs> kept flat, <laughs> but this is him. Isn't he cute? <clears throat> and I did this one as well. My husband picked out this fabric. He liked it. Um, what I didn't like about it was, this is the fabric for the inner. I don't like the sparkles, but I didn't tell him that. I just bought it. But this is what I changed on. One of the things I changed from Vana, she has the strips of Velcro that she sews into the bag themselves. Um, and I put, and they're adhesive. And I don't know over time how they're going to hand, hand, you know, um, handle opening and closing so frequently. But that's what I used. And they're just stickers. You pull the back off of it and you adhese it to the fabric. And the other thing was, let me see, this is the one that I first did. I love this fabric too. Um, what, if you notice, the flap is further down. And you can see my stitch in here is not very straight. But that's okay because it's mine. And I'm happy with it because I made it. Um, but Vana's comes further down. And there's nothing wrong with that. It, it's great. But I chose to put mine, as you can see, further up. So my bag is just a little bit longer, maybe just an inch, inch and a half. Um, but my, my bag is deeper. Um, so I like that. I also did this bag, and I love this. wasn't very good about keeping it, the, everything straight, but um, as far as the fabric, these are my colors. I love jewel tones, um, and I'm OCD. <laughs> like Abby Stitch, hello Abby. Um, I'm the same way. Things have to meet up, um, or my mind plays tricks with me. Um, but that's why I love this fabric. I'm going to show it again. I love the way this looks. And I have one other. And this is from this same line. But it's this one. Now, you see, my dear. I need to pay attention. But I love this too. Once again, jewel tones and just a plain old inside. But isn't it nice? But that's all I have to show you today. I just wanted to check in with you and say hello. Um, not sure how this is going to go, but um, I get so excited to see your videos and see what you're working on. And um, I love the, that, you know, listening to you guys talk about fear of missing out, the FOMO. Um, I've done that a couple times. I see everyone. The thing that I see right now that is drawn to me is, of course, Death by Cross Stitch. I see so many of you stitching it, Abby, and... Emily and the color combos, everyone can stitch a totally different piece by just switching up the, the three colors and it's just gorgeous. Um, I've also got a couple Courtney collection pieces myself. I see many of you stitching those. I do not have the, the mask, um, but I have several other pieces and I did not realize, you know, because I didn't pay close enough attention how large those pieces are. Um, but they're still beautiful. But I won't hold you anymore um, about stitching. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. I am a mother of three and grandmother of one, sweet little Canaan James. Um, he is eight months old now, um, sweet as he can be. Um, I do have a full-time job. Um, stitching is my part-time job. Um, you know, stitching forever, housework whenever, whatever that saying is. Um, so with, you know, I try to stitch maybe an hour each night and usually I have my iPad on, um, watching you guys or, or listening to you guys playing it, depending on what I'm stitching. Um, 
in the background as I'm stitching. So thanks for joining me every night. Um, I look forward to seeing your videos and hope you enjoy mine. Um, have a great weekend and see you soon. Bye-bye.